Besides functional dependency and multivalue dependencies, we also have other kinds of constraints that are interesting for the database design. For instance, consider the following table. This table stores the answers to questions of a multiple choice test. So the, in this table, we have the question number, one, two, three, and so on, the letter of the answer, A, B, C, and so on. Every answer has a text, and we have a classification whether the answer is correct or not. The question and the answer together form a key for this table. So for every question, we cannot have the same answer letter twice. Now, let's assume that we want to have multiple choice tests, where there can be at most one correct answer. So we want to encode this constraint in a form that the database management system understands it and can enforce it. This constraint that every question can have only one correct answer is neither a functional dependency nor a multivalue dependency. So the question is, how can we express this in a form that the database management system can enforce, namely as a key constraint? One possible way to enforce this is to split the answers into correct answers and wrong answers. The correct answers have the question number, the answer letter and the text, and likewise also the wrong answers have question number, answer letter and text. But there's an important difference between these two tables, namely in the correct answers table, the question alone forms a key. In the wrong answers table, the question and the answer letter together form a key. And this has an important impact, namely that in the wrong answers table, we can have for every question multiple wrong answers with different answer letters. However, in the correct answers table, we can have only one answer for every question because the question is a key for this table. So this is nice. However, we get other problems with this approach, namely for the same question, let's say for question one, we can have the same answer letter appearing in both tables. So it would be that question one has a correct answer with letter A, and also question one has a wrong answer with letter A. So we get a new constraint, and this constraint is interrelational between two tables, that for the same question, the same answer letter cannot appear twice, in, so cannot appear on both tables. And this is a constraint that is difficult or impossible to express in database management systems. So we can take a slightly different approach to solving this. We create two tables, one with the questions. The questions have as key the question number, and each question has a text. The answers have as key the question number, which is a foreign key referring to the questions table. In so the question alone is not a key from the answers table. The question in combination with the answer letter forms a key of the answers table. And every answer has a text. Now, I did not yet say how we classify the answers into correct and incorrect ones. The trick here is to include a foreign key to the answers table in the questions table. So we have the question number we already have anyway. This is the number of the current question. And we also include the letter of the answer, as the attribute here is called correct answer. And these two together form a foreign key that refers to the answers table. So basically, for every question, we include in the questions table the letter of the correct answer. And by making this a foreign key, we ensure that this combination of question and letter indeed exists in the answers table. And since for every question we only include one correct answer letter, every question has at most one correct answer.